This is an electromagnetic launcher. It launches this small aluminum plate and this is done in the following way. Through this coil, several hundred amps circulate and this creates a really huge magnetic field. This magnetic field only lasts for a fraction of a second, but in this time it induces a current in the aluminum since it is a conductor and the current induced in the aluminum plate generates its own magnetic field. Because of length law, the two fields are opposite, they oppose each other. So there is a repulsion between the plate and the coil. So the plate is launched because of the force generated by the opposing magnetic fields. So let's see how it works. We have here a capacitor bank that is charged to a value of about 500 volts maximum and when they are discharged through the coil that generates a really large current in the inductor which is that what creates the magnetic field. Okay, so we have here This circuit is taken from uh, the flash, the flash circuit of a of a camera, and this is what generates the high voltage. We fed uh, six volts into the device, and the six volts are amplified by by the circuit. So we fed that to the capacitor bank, and and it is charged. Now. Uh, in order to dump the energy to the coil, we use a trigger mechanism which is based on uh, SCR. So when we push the button, all the energy stored in the capacitor bank is dumped into the coil and the magnetic field is generated. Let's put a small charge on the capacitor bank. We will charge to about 50 volts, only to see how it works. Press the fire button. Okay. Of course, if we, if we give more voltage to the system, the energy increases. Now, we have more distance. And now, let's charge the system to full capacity to see how it works. This is the electrical diagram of the launcher. First we have the power supply which gives about 500-600 volts and it's made from the camera flash circuits. And here we have our capacitor bank. Then the coil is here and in this part we have the switch. The switch is made by an SCR a 9 volt battery which feeds the gate and the firing switch. So when the switch is closed, the SCR conducts the electricity which comes from the capacitor bank through the coil and the magnetic field is generated in the coil. <laughs> 